next topic is on direct to product so this topic is from lattices and let's get started to find out the definition of direct to product let l1 meet join and l2 meet join are two lattices and let l is equal to l1 product l2 where l1 product l2 is equal to the set of a comma b where a belongs to the lattice l1 and b belongs to the lattice l2 and if the condition and if the condition a1 b1 join a2 b2 is equal to a1 join a2 and b1 join b2 and the next one a1 b1 meet a2 b2 is equal to a1 meet a2 and b1 meet b2 for all a1 b1 a2 b2 belongs to l then l meet join is called the direct product so which product it is it is the direct product of the lattices L1 meet join and L2 meet join. So it is so simple to understand. So there are two lattices here. The first one is L1 and the second one is L2. So these are the finite sets and meet and join are the operations on it and are the two lattices. Now the product L1 direct product of L2 is equal to the set of A comma B where the first elements belongs to the lattice L1 and the second element belongs to the lattice L2. And if the condition a1 b1 join a2 b2 is equal to a1 join a2 b1 join b2 and next a1 b1 meet a2 b2 is equal to see here a1 meet a2 and b1 meet b2 so these are all the elements which belongs to the l then l is said to be the direct product of the two lattices l1 meet join and l2 meet join so the direct product is represented by l meet join See here using this definition so I am going to solve the most most important problem here. So the example problem here is let D see here so this is D4 and D6 be the two lattices and now we have to find out or draw the hash diagram of D4 product D6. So first of all so this is the question here most important question and now I am going to give the solution for it. See here D4 means See here D4 means all the devices of 4 that is 1, 2 and 4 and the next one what is D6. So D6 is nothing but all the devices of 6. So 1, next one 2, next 3 and the last one is 6. So now we have to make the direct product of these two. So in order to make the direct product C D4 product d6 is nothing but see here so this will be 1 1 so the set 1 1 first element from the lattice l1 and second element from lattice l2 so we have to make it as an element or a pair a comma b the first element from lattice l1 and the second element from lattice l2 according to the definition see here 1 comma 2 see here this is again 1 comma 2 this is 1 comma 3 and this is again 1 comma 6 and the next one is 2 comma 1 so this is 2 comma 1 this is 2 comma 2 and this is nothing but 2 comma 3 and this is again 2 comma 6 and the next one with 4 we have to make a pair here that is 4 comma 1 so this is 4 comma 1 this is 4 comma 2 so this is 4 comma 2 this is 4 comma 3 and the next one is 4 comma 6 so this is how we have to make a product and using this product we have to draw the hash diagram for this so let's get started to draw the hash diagram see the all elements here i'll show you so this is d4 product d6 is nothing but the first element here is 1 comma 1 this is 1 comma 2 this is 1 comma 3 this is 1 comma 6 next this is 2 comma 1 this is 2 comma 2 this is 2 comma 3 and next 2 comma 6 next 4 comma 1 and next 4 comma 2 this is 4 comma 3 and this is 4 comma 6 so these are all the set of the elements and using this we have to draw the hash diagram so let's get started to find out so out of all these elements See here, um, the least, the smallest element here is 1 comma 1 and let's get started with 1 comma 1. See here, the first element is nothing but 1 comma 1. So, 1 comma 1 and the next element is nothing but, see here, the next element is 
1 comma 2. So this is again 1 comma 2. So I am writing here as this 1 as a 1 comma 2 here. See there is a logic here. 1 divides 1 and next 1 divides 2. And therefore now I am I am showing you a relation with these two points that is 1 divides 1 and 1 divides 2. And coming to the next point here that is 1 comma 3. So now I have to point out this one 1 comma 3. So 2 doesn't divide 3. Therefore just I am showing it as 1 comma 3 here and this is the point. See here. So 1 divides 1 and again 1 divides 3. So this is the relation between 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 3 as these are all the divisors. See here very clear 1 divides 1 and 1 divides 3. And the next point here I am using is 1 comma 6. See here so this is nothing but 1 comma 6. So now where I have to name it or label it that is 1 comma 6 I am labeling here. Why because <coughs> see here there is a relation 1 divides 1 and 2 also divides a 6. And see here, again 1 divides 1 and 3 also divides a 6. So now, there is a relation. So, I am writing this relation here. See, got it? The first minimum element is 1, 1. I am starting. And the second element is 1, 2. So, I am plotting here. So, it is very clear that 1 divides 1 and 1 divides 2. So, I made a relation with this. And next one, 1, 3. So, I shouldn't plot here because... 2 doesn't divide 3. Therefore, I have taken an another move here and plotted 1 comma 3 here. And the next one is, so 1 divides 1 and 3 divides 6. Therefore, I made an edge here. <coughs> I made a relation here. So, the next point here is 1 comma 6. This is 2 comma 1. So, after that one, the 2 comma 1. So, I have to make a relation so that is 2 comma 1. It's very clear that 1 divides 2 and again 1 also divides 1. Therefore, I make a relation here like this. Got it? And the next point here is, now I have to plot 2 comma 2 here. So this value will be 2 comma 2. So coming to this point 2 comma 2. So this will be the point 2 comma 2 here. See, I'll show you why, how like that. So this is 2 comma 2. So when you so, uh, when you see this, so 1 divides 2 and 2 also divides 2. Therefore, I can join this one. So I am joining this one. And the next one here is 2 divides 2 and 1 also divides 2. Just I am making a relation with this. The next point here is after 2 comma 2, it is 2 comma 3. So, now I have to select this 2 comma 3. So, where I have to plot this? So, there is no chance here because 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1. So, now I have to take one move and I have to plot here as 2 comma 3. Why? Because 2 divides 2 and 1 again divides 3. See here. So, I can make a relation with this. So, 2 divides 3 and also if you see 1 divides 2 and 3 also divides 3. 3 also divides. So there is a relation with these. So 1 divides 2 and 3 divides 3. Got it. And the next point here which we have to plot is 2 comma 6. See here this is 2 comma 6. So now I am plotting here as 2 comma 6. Why? Because 1 divides 2 and 6 also divides 6. This is a first relation I can make with this. And the next one 2 divides 2 and 2 also divides 6. So I can make an, another relation with this. And the next one here is 2 divides 2 and again 3 also divides 6. Therefore I can make a relation with this. Got it? And the next step here is 4 comma 1. So coming to the point 4 comma 1. Now where I have to plot this. See here coming to the point 4 comma 1. So here I am making a point as uh, this is 4 comma 1. So this point as 4 comma 1. So see the relation here 2 divides 4. So this is nothing but 4. 
So 2 divides 4 and again 1 divides 1. Now I can make a relation here like this. Got it? So this is 4 comma 1 and what else remind? So that's it. And the next one is the next point after 4 comma 1. So I have plotted 4 comma 1 in the hashtagram and the next move is 4 comma 2. Next I have to take a step for 4 comma 2. So this is 4 comma 2 and this point see here 2 divides 4 and again 2 also divides 2. And now I can make a relation with this. And see here 4 divides 4 and 1 divides 2. So I can even further make a relation with 4 comma 1. And the next step here is 4 comma 3. The next step here is nothing but 4 comma 3. Now 4 comma 3 comes here. See here. So this is nothing but 4 comma 3. See it, it can make a relation with 4 divides 4 and next one 1 divides 3. So I can make a relation like this. 2 divides 4 and 3 also divides 3. So this is the relation with this. And the next last step here is 4 comma 6. Now I am plotting 4 comma 6 here. And if you observe 2 divides 4 and 6 also divides 6. So I can make a relation with this. See here 4 divides 4 and again 2 divides 6. So there is a relation. 4 divides 4 and again 3 divides 6. Now I can make a relation here like this. So as you can see this is the hash diagram. So first one the minimum element here is 1 comma 1. So uh, using the divisibility rule so this is 1 comma 2 I made a relation with this and next one 1 comma 3. So I made a relation here and next one 1 comma 6. So 1 comma 6 I made a relation with these two and next one 2 comma 1 I have plotted here and see next one 2 comma 2 this is 2 comma 3 this is 2 comma 6 and later 4 comma 1 4 comma 2 4 comma 3 and 4 comma 6. See here this is nothing but the hash diagram. So this is nothing but the hash diagram for D4 direct product of D6. And see each and every element is having the greatest lower bound and the least upper bound here. If you observe here for 1, 1 and 1, 2. So 1, 2 element is the greatest uh, lowest upper bound and 1 comma 1 is nothing but the least greatest or lower bound so if you take any element 1 comma 1 2 comma 1 so the 2 comma 1 will be the least upper bound and 1 comma 1 will be the greatest lower bound if you take these two 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 3 so 1 comma 1 is the greatest lower bound and 1 comma 3 is the least upper bound here and uh, if you can see 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 1 see here the first meeting here is so this will be the least upper bound and the next meeting here is 1 comma 1 is the greatest lower bound for each and every element we have the greatest lower bound and the least upper bound here and according to this so this is this belongs to the set l lattice so this is the hash diagram and hope you all guys understand so this follows the divisibility rule and so it is also so simple if you practice and thank you so much for watching and staying till the end and we'll meet you with an another good example and have a look at those and if you really like you know what to do please raise your thumb Share it with your friends and please do follow these videos and it will immensely help you in your preparation. Thank you so much.